and I'm out into the big world. Okay, so, but I've got an artifact here, some sort of picked up from the designer. Now, I'm going to design the top part of this. So I need to draw, <coughs> need to draw walls again. Now, um, in order to get out, I'm going to need to make a little space here. So I need to give a little more room for this wall. And I'm going to draw that down. And again, I'm referencing my drawing as much as I can just to keep things clear for me. And there's my wall. See, that's where having vector objects, if I could design my own vector objects and import those objects, so I could reuse designs over and over, that would be very cool. Now, I click down and draw my other wall. Now, I'm going to add some more rooms to my maze. Let's draw that one. And that one, that way I can actually, if I wanted to, I could put a ladder in there. Uh, and I have another sub room in here. I have another sub room in here. And I've got a room here. And a room there. And I'm going to add a couple more rooms here. Again, this would be a nice place to have like basic vector objects like squares. So I don't have to click, click, click to drag my walls. And I do it again. Here's another door. And I'm going to add my... got one, two, three in my design. I've got one, two, three, four rooms. This is may, maybe not the most complex design, but it will be, I hope, interesting because I've got some uh, design issues or design thoughts on the gameplay itself. So I've got my rooms. Now I need to add doors. And door goes, yeah, we'll put a door here. Let's actually go check out my door. Drag him. Wait, did you see that? Oh, my game just disappeared. What happened? Uh, did you see that? My, it looks like my game just disappeared. Make games. So it looks like I have lost all of my work. Of course, not saving often is the big problem. So let's start editor. And now I'm going to save maze as. I'm going to call this my house. Save. 